we've been here one time too many Wonder what will happen next We both know that this ship's going down Let's get up and leave before we drown There's nothing left for us to say Cause we'll see through I'm Joe and welcome to the Joe is Hungry channel filmed and produced right here in Fairmount, Georgia. It's the time of year that new menu items and limited time offers are in very short supply. So I'm gonna check out a place that I have not reviewed since early 2019. I'm heading back to my local cookout drive through Cookout is a privately owned American fast food chain with 326 locations in North Carolina and South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia, Kentucky and Maryland, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia and Mississippi. Today, I'm gonna check out their cheddar style char grilled hamburger. The cookout hamburger comes in four sizes, small, regular, big double and huge. Cheddar style char grilled hamburger. It's constructed with two beef patties, cheddar cheese, doesn't say how much, bacon and mayonnaise, grilled onions, all on a cookout hamburger bun. One of these burgers adds not an insignificant 749 calories to your daily diet. I have the stats on the screen and in the description below. A single burger will lighten your wallet to the tune of $5.69 before taxes in Georgia. Cookout graces us with a posted serving weight of 10.2 ounces or 288.1 grams. Using this information, we come up the middle of the road, preliminary 56 cents an ounce. And I stress preliminary because we won't know until later in the video when we do the Joe is Hungry weight test. So let's start our burger dive and roll on over to Cookout in Calhoun, Georgia. Sure. I didn't understand what you said. I said not to be rude, but I hope you don't plan on recording us with your camera in the car. No, they're all pointed at me. Okay, I just want to make sure. Hi, I'm sorry about that. What can I get for you? I need three cheddar style char grilled hamburgers in the huge size, no drink, no extras. You said three of the char grilled chicken sandwiches? No, cheddar style char grilled hamburgers. All right, that's 1823, pleasure to serve at the window. Thank you, dear. I've got my cheddar burgers. Let's pull off to the side and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. And burger number one is 181.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Burger number two is 170.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And burger number three is 172.9 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cooked hot, that's fresh. I really didn't expect anything less. The welcome that I got here was something I kind of didn't expect, but I'm not wholly surprised. I tend to get that in this area. So cookout, you pass. The Joe is hungry, temperature test. So now it's time to take a deeper dive and head back to the studio and do the Joe is hungry weight test. Burger number one weighs in at 9.00 ounces or 255 grams. Burger number two weighs in at 9.50 ounces or 269 grams. Burger number three weighs in at 8.75 ounces or 248 grams. They fall below their own posted serving weights by at least an ounce. My information came directly off their website and their nutritional stats. So cookout, you fail the Joe is Hungry weight test. Now we take the new weights, add them all up, divide them out, do the math, and we come out with it a little bit higher, 62 cents an ounce. Still not a bad price, but these are your specs, not mine. So now it's time for the Joe is Hungry Big reveal. This is what it looks like. And I can't find a single advertised photo of this burger 
anywhere, and believe me, I look. So we're just gonna have to take it at face value, and this is what it looks like. We've seen how much it was, we saw how much it weighed, it fell below their own specs, but it was cooked fresh, I'll give them that. This thing is smelling like it came right off the grill, so now it's time for the Joe is Hungry Bite Test. It is Bite Test Engage. <laughs> It has the taste of a burger that you pulled off your backyard grill. The sauteed onions are cooked perfectly. The meat itself is slightly under seasoned. The bread is on the verge of bleed through, but not quite. It's not really a bad thing. I can barely taste the bacon. It's not thick and crispy. It's almost like it's pre-cooked bacon or it's seen the inside of a microwave. Somebody at cookout, Tell me if I'm wrong. There's absolutely no shortage of meat, but not enough to make it dry. I can barely taste the cheddar cheese, which is sort of a shame because of its namesake, cheddar. You think they would've put more on, but they didn't. The sauteed onions came to the rescue and pulled this out of the weeds. And so now it's time to give this thing a score. If y'all don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved. Five and down is that all too familiar slippery slope to food hell. So let's go ahead and give this thing the number that it truly deserves. It's still a really good burger. I would get it again, but I'm not going over there again. 7.2, that is my number, that is my review, and hopefully we'll see you again in the next video.